I'm Barry Mason and uh, I'm 81, sadly. I was born in Wigan in Lancashire. My father died when I was quite young. I lived in a private hotel in Blackpool for my teenage years. Then I did two years national service in the Royal Marines. Went to America to join my stepfather and lived there for a year, got restless. And I hitchhiked down Route 66, which goes from Ohio, Chicago, all the way down to LA. And the interesting thing about Route 66 was the song, Get Your Kicks on Route 66, which lists American towns, they're all in order from the East Coast to the West Coast. If you sing the song, you know what the next town is. So while I'm hitchhiking, I knew where I was gonna go next because of the song. And that was probably my first, my first real realization of the value of a good lyric. I'm not a celebrity, I'm a songwriter. If you perform the song, people know you. Most people don't know the name of the, of the songwriter. My biggest achievement in my career is, is writing Delilah. The marvellous thing about pop songs is if, if you get a room full of people of all different walks of life, they're all connected by the popular song. And when you see strangers singing your song, that is the most out of body experience, the most fantastic thing. Going to the Millennium Stadium in Wales and seeing 70,000 people singing the words that I wrote 50 years ago is just beyond belief. A hit record is like a perfect marriage. If somebody else had sung Delilah, it might have been a hit, it might have been a small hit, but Tom Jones was made for Delilah. He's probably the greatest pop singer in the world in his own style. He was broke at the time, and suddenly when this, this record came out, it was a massive life changer. I didn't see much of Tom then after that, because he was all over the world, went to live in America. If I bump into him now, it, it's a great pleasure. It's great fun. Well, the first sign of success changes your life. I'd written a song for The Fortunes, which was a hit, and I thought, oh, at last, after all those misses, the record's coming out, I've made him a songwriter. I didn't get another hit for over 12 months, and I began to think, well, I'm a one-record wonder. And I'm doing some painting, decorating. And the post arrived and opened this letter. There was a check inside it. Those days, they kept you waiting for over a year for your royalties. I opened this check and I don't remember what the amount was, but it meant I was rich as opposed to being poor. It's a strange experience seeing all those clips. I'm so, so glad that uh, and grateful and, and conscious of how lucky I am to have come across this little, this little idea for a song which somehow, almost 50 years later, people are still singing. I saw the light on the night I passed by her window. If at the end of the day you've written a song that didn't exist in the morning you've created something whether it's a hit or not is fine but that's in the future and most people sadly live a life and die and never create anything i think the most important thing for a songwriter or for anybody in life is tenacity is to keep on going to never never stop write and write practice do it and Never give up what you're doing and try to enjoy the journey.